and welcome back to Pemblin Farm. So today our soybeans have come ripe, so we're going to get those harvested. Uh, this is the last harvest we need to do of the year. So uh, yeah, after this, all the excitement of the harvest is done. Oh, let's get the combine started. There we go. So we're going to just pick up our header quickly. Oh, it's a bit slippery and slidey coming into this field. Alright, let's reverse off that. There we go. And then we'll just get the... Uh... Oh, it's stuck on the gate. There we go. Uh, we'll get the tractor out of the way. Start her up and move out the way with this. That way we can get into the field with the combine nice and easily. We have got the Massey here as well. Uh, this is going to be our, uh, well, my last video. Um, I need to, uh, we, well, we may we may come back and do some more of these vlogs at some time. But, uh, but yeah, for now, this is the last trip to Pemberton Farm for a while. I, uh, I need to deal with uh, some other bits and pieces and, uh, and yeah. Let's turn on the combine. So we'll make this a good one. We will have, hopefully, an enjoyable time. There we go. Come on. What is wrong with my combine? seem to be stuck in the mud I think that's not a good start there we go oh, it's, yeah it's very muddy at the entrance of the field there the other job we have to do today is I've had a phone call oh no The combine's broken down. Uh, right, okay. We're going to have to pop back to the farm and get our toolbox, I think. That's not good. Oh. These things happen, of course, on a farm. It's not great when it happens, you know, immediately when you start on the field. But, uh, yeah, let's get the toolbox and... Uh, have a go at the repairs on the combine. Whoa. That's what happens when I trip. Another breakdown. That's not good. Let's pick this up. There we go. Right. Let's have a look. I'll get this opened up and uh, and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, I've uh, I've done some repairs. Let's see if uh, oh I'm gonna put this. We're gonna put this with the uh, with the Fiat so that we don't lose it, rather than taking it all the way back to the farm. I tripped and threw it somewhere. That's not. Good. Where did I just throw them? Okay, I'll have a look for it later. I don't think it's in the crop anywhere. Oh dear. Right. Let's try this again. Combine starting up fine. There we go. Much better. Oh, it's, I like it when I'm able to repair stuff at the farm. Uh, when I can't repair it, at the, when we have to send it away like the Merlot, that's uh, that's rather depressing because that costs a lot of money. Uh, the Merlot, yeah, the Merlot was a fairly expensive repair. Something wrong with uh, something in the engine. 
Well, obviously something wrong with something in the engine, but not a minor thing in the engine. Thankfully, not a new engine level uh, bad thing in the engine, but yeah, not a good thing either. And away we go again, around the edge. So we'll probably do three or four headlands in this. It's, uh, yeah, that should give us enough space to turn around in this field. Oh, I am slightly worried about where I throw my toolkit. I sort of I slipped in the mud and it went flying, and I don't know where it went flying. Sometimes I'm a little scared because I don't know where it went. Well, yeah, it was, quite a, it was quite an epic slip in the mud then. I worry when things like that happen. It's not good. And it just just means that I don't know where it is now. I'm gonna have to it's I, I could have thrown it over towards the barn or I could have thrown it towards the tractor. I'm hoping I haven't thrown it into the uh, corn because otherwise or into the soybeans because that would give this combine a huge problem. But we'll keep an eye out for it. If we do see it in the crop, hopefully we'll be able to stop before we hit it with the combine. But I'm going to be watching carefully now. I'd love to know where I threw that. Just a, I think that was just a bump in the field. Yeah. It's just the field being a little bit rough. There we go. Okay. Wherever I threw it. Uh -oh, we got in the muddy patch. There we go. This is not a huge field, so this should not take us very long to do. And hopefully, we can just pop down to the shop quickly. Wow, we got a good yield off this. That's 25% full already. Having done uh, just over one headland. There we go. Back in again. So I've had a lot of fun making these videos uh, and showing you my farms. I think one day I'd love to show you back on Kendall. It's, uh, it's a lovely farm. It still is a lovely farm. we beep at 75% we will unload which should be once we do the third headland which should be enough space for us to turn around as well and that should I think we may we may fill just a single trailer with this but that would still be good that would still work nicely Going to be doing some contracting work for uh, another one of our neighbours uh, soon. She needs some help with uh, her maize harvest or a corn harvest. So I'm 
going to go and do that. And uh, and like our sugar beet, where we got given uh, a, a whole load of sugar beet for helping do that harvest, uh, we should get a whole load of corn for helping do the other harvest. And that will keep our pigs going and well fed. There we are. One more headland to do. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to go any further because we're actually beginning to cut across the grain now. And that tends to cause us all sorts of problems. It's very rough doing it, doing that. All right, and there we go. Yeah. Four headlands, and there wouldn't be any field left. Whack. We're not hit the. I've not heard the 50% buzzer yet, and we're certainly not showing in the uh, in the hopper yet. But this is our third headland, so I'm slightly surprised by that. Considering. 25% of went off on the first round. Ah. No, there's that's the 75%. I must have missed the 50. Okay, so at the end of this uh, row, we will empty out. We'll go and get the uh, the Massey uh, 3000 series and, uh, and empty out. Before we go and cut in I will basically just cut down the middle of the field because as I said not a big field no point in uh, in doing anything really other than that right. but it's sensible for us to empty out uh, before we uh, before we head into the rest of the field what I'm going to do. Yeah, it is out. I'm going to bring this over here. Just stop that. Jump out. Go and get our Massey here. go. Yeah, it's this big mud patch there. Causes all sorts of problems. There we are. Oh, turn that off. I think I've left this tractor on as well. Nope. Why did I jump in the cab of my tractor? There we go. That's all empty. And away we go. So we want to cut into the middle of this. As you can see, yeah, not a huge amount left. Plunge into the middle. We'll keep on track with that there. There's a nice mark on the windscreen where the combine's quite dirty, actually, that we can uh, mark against. OK, 
keep us nice and straight. There we go. Not straightish. Straight enough for what we're doing anyway. There we go. Yeah, perfect size field for our farmers. Good little yield off it and uh, keep going. See, once you've got the first couple of rows done, it becomes easier to turn like this. Otherwise, you're just getting diminishing turns each time. Uh, this, this works well, this method, I find. It isn't the only way to cut grains, but uh, it's the way that I've most seen used. There we go. Perfect. Right, and in. There we go. So we've probably got about another... Well, we've only got one more row on this side. I think we're probably looking at it. Only got two more rows on the other. So it should be uh, a return. And then a down. And then a return. And that should be it. That should be the whole field harvested, I think, at that point. We'll see when we go in here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's more than two header widths there. I'm hoping not. I think I've got the width about right. Yeah, certainly towards the end there's not more than two header widths. There we are. And one more. A small field this. It will nevertheless give us a nice amount of soybeans. I'll try and keep this as much in the middle of the combine as I can. And that should mean that we catch it all. Like so. So that is 25% full. So we've got just over a full tank off this field. Which is not actually not a huge amount. Decent but not huge. Oh, we are going to have a little bit at this end that we can't get. Where it sort of kicks out. Ah, oh, no, it is wider than a single one. That's okay. Disappointing, but it's okay. Just means we have to turn around and do one more. We can go and get those patches actually on the way back. There we go. Yeah, those two patches we've left along the other side of the field.
Okay, and one more. Yeah, we've got a bit of speed up now. Speed that bit up and this bit up. Too far over. I'm gonna get it in the right place. There we are. Right, there we go. And that's emptied. So, I'm just gonna park this on the field for the moment and we will head back to the yard and uh, cut out the uh, oh nope all I want to do is that still isn't sounding quite right but uh, I'll have to find my toolkit to sort that out which I still don't know where that is right let's get this back to the yard and tipped and then we will go and pick the Merlot up which is down, ready for us to collect at the uh, at the shop. We've actually already got the class down there, so I'll have to um, we'll have to take the landy down there and uh, and have someone drive that back for us. I don't know where I've got the landy at the moment either. Ah, we can walk down that. Not that far. I think I might have left the landy down at the other uh, other shed. Right, we will turn that off. Turn this off. I've left this tractor on. I was doing some work with the cows earlier. There we go. Yeah, okay. I think we'll have to have a walk down to town by the looks of things. So I've, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed having you guys here for these videos on Pemberland. Uh, it's been, uh, and Kendall, uh, both, you know, showing you guys how both my farms work have been, uh, has been really nice. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Uh, it is a, it's been a, a, a great sort of learning experience for me. And I've had some nice comments from people. That's the uh, field of corn that I'm going to do for my neighbour in the next few days. That's all ripe and she can't uh, do it herself. I will get on the footpath in a moment. There we go. There we are. Yeah, so I left the class down here earlier. I think it would be an easier way to do things. Here's our shop. And our uh, the workshop as well. So they've got it all ready for me. Let's start her up and hear what she's like. Yeah, there we go. So... Reverse her up onto this. There we go. And jump out. Wow, I'm quite pleased with that. That's a good piece of reversing, that is. Uh, as always, uh, let's start this up. Load that up. Good. 
And away we go. Let's get this back home. Be nice to have this back. It's a really useful piece of kit, this Merlot. Really useful piece of kit. Right, and be over the bridge and home. Still on there. Yeah, I can still see his back wheels, so we're all good. I've got it struck down, so. Alright, and here's the turning. Over here and into the yard. They didn't clean it for us, but we can uh, we can give it a hose down once we unload it. Right, I'm happy with that. That is working. Or oh, has worked nicely. So I will get this unloaded. And uh, yeah, all that really remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed uh this series on pebbleland farm and this video uh please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from both pebbleland and kendall uh please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time. Goodbye.